Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Hello. Welcome back to my channel. It's me, Stephen. Happy Vlogmas Day 22. It is 8.22 in the morning. Um, I got to bed probably 2.30, maybe 3 o'clock in the morning. I just could not get to sleep. Um, and uh, I woke up probably about 15 minutes ago to run downstairs and have breakfast. Um, I'm hoping most of the families and the um wrestling teams are gone because sometimes breakfast at hotels can be very chaotic downstairs. They don't show you that in the commercials on TV. Um, but uh, yeah, my plan is to eat breakfast, to get a nice full belly, crawl back upstairs and crawl back in bed. That's my goal. That's my goal. Uh, I was thinking of going to um, the museum uh, later on today. Monzi, Monzi, Mo whatever it is. Um, but um, we'll see. We'll see. I'm going to go eat breakfast. I will see you later. Huh. So, hey, how are you? Uh, so it's about 1230 in the afternoon. I decided to put some clothes back on again. I'm always telling you how tired I am, how hungry I am, how I don't wear a lot of clothes. <laughs> um... But I decided to put some clothes back on after a short, brief nap and scrolling on my phone. And I decided to step outside. It didn't look like it was raining. It's gently misting. It looks like it's cleared up quite a bit. Um, I am tempted to take a little walk. There's a Goodwill and a movie theater about a mile away. So I thought, well, I might give that a spin. I have to walk across this, like, lot of... It's like weeds and compacted, I don't know, vegetation. It's really unpleasant. Or I have to walk all the way over there and around. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to hit the gas station for some snacks, I think. And if I am so disposed, I might continue on. Again, it's about a mile over there. I've been watching some YouTube videos and I, I don't know if I ever have mentioned one of my favorite YouTubers, uh, he, it's uh, his channel, I think is called Journey J. Aloha. He works for an airline, which I think rhymes with Omni. And uh, he is just uncommonly sweet. He's just always the nicest person. He's just, he just strikes me as being gentle. And I think he lives in Las Vegas, but the airline he works for, he's a flight attendant, he goes out on trips that are like a month long. He's away from home for a month at a time. And it's a very different experience being a flight attendant as uh, as it is for me. He's right now in Papua, Papua New Guinea uh, flying to Singapore and back. I mean, the poor thing. <laughs> he works hard. But uh, J, uh, Journey J. Aloha. I think he's got 700 something subscribers and I've been watching him for years and his content is always very good but I don't see his subscriber count rising too fast so if you can't you know if you want to be nice and get a great experience check out his channel maybe subscribe if you if you can um, I think it would make a big difference that is is uh, his channel not that I'm a huge giant youtuber but I think he could use a support <laughs> this is not a wise choice. Ugh, this is gross. But I'm wearing my work shoes, not my little blue suede shoes, which are still in my suitcase. All right, let me stop babbling and try not to walk in dog poop because people walk their dogs over here. Ugh, wet dog poop. <sighs> it is miserable out here. It's not a great day to walk around. The hotel said the shuttle driver would drop you off over there, but I hate to actually take a, a shuttle driver out of service to other people just to drop me off a mile away. You know, it's not that hard to walk, and I could get an Uber, but just taking the hotel shuttle feels a little selfish for some reason. What happened to me? I used to live <laughs> completely in selfish behavior. I don't know what happened to me. But, uh, yeah, this is not, this is not fun. Just a little side note. This is how wet this area is at all times. This is just moss growing on a tree. I mean, it's literally so wet here all the time that this is here year-round. 
I just think that's weird. I know, I know, I'm so sexy. Um, I can't imagine what it's like to maintain a home here with all this moisture. Like, there must be a huge mold problem up here. But I'm taking a little side path across from a police station behind me just to look at these geese. Look at these geese. They're Canada geese. There are hundreds of them. Let's see. Yeah. Oh, I hate these things. I hate Canada geese. They're cute, but I hate them. Steven, how can you hate a goose, right? Is it stopped? Yeah. Um, Canada geese. These, these geese are like a plague in Boston. Any green area like the Esplanade, the grass is chewed down to the dirt. And the entire area is covered in moose, uh, goose poop. And it's vile. And uh, they're just, oh my God, they just decimate the grass. And uh, they're, like, they're like miniature cute goats. But they leave poop everywhere. And it's now officially raining. What am I doing out here? This Google is a hit or miss. And today it's a miss. There is garbage on the shelves. Um, I'm buying a pair of socks because I'm not wearing any and my shoes hurt right now. Um, but, uh, and they're new. They're not been worn before, but there is garbage on the shelves. So I will not be here very long. All right. While there was garbage on the shelves, I did find three things. The socks I showed you, uh, a, a Costa Boda ornament, which I think is gorgeous. It was half off because it's Christmas stuff. And what else did I, oh, a Hawaiian shirt. I'll show you in the hotel room. Uh, I was considering going to OMSI, which is the Oregon Museum of Science and Industry, I think. I'm guessing there. Uh, but I just took a look at Uber and how much it would cost. Yeah, look at this. So needless to say, I'm not going to OMSI today. Uh, but I'm going to stop in Red Robin, have some lunch. Think back to the hotel room and I will see you there. I've never been to a Red Robin, so I'm a little anxious about this menu. Uh, do you uh, watch Deanne Ford? She always talks about sticking to the rivers and streams that she knows. Yeah, <clears throat> I don't like new menus, especially big ones. I think there's too many choices. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm looking at the burger group. Oh, it looks good. And then I think, I eat a lot of burgers. <laughs> I'm watching one of my favorite movies, Lucy. I don't know why I love this film so much, but here is when Lucy meets Lucy. And we have the fingers touching, like on the Sistine Chapel. Let's see if I can make the most of the last bit of daylight. It is uh, 4.12 in the afternoon, so the sun's gonna set in just a moment. Um, so last time I saw you, I was at Red Robin. I had a good burger, not the best burger, but a good burger. The best cheeseburger I've ever had was at, was it Zinnia? The restaurant at the uh, Chrysler Museum in Baltimore. That was unbelievable. The fries were oh, so good. They had grated Parmesan on top of the fries. It was so good. Um, so I did find two things at Goodwill, but I bought some socks, which don't really count at Goodwill. Um, but I bought two things at Goodwill. Oh, let me grab them. Uh, first off, this is by a glass or a crystal company called Costa Boda, which I collect a bunch of their um, crystal um, votive holders. They do a lot of art glass. It's a very, very old company. And um, they've made these sun catchers for a very long time. But I found this. It's made of crystal, and it's handmade, obviously. Uh, and this is the bell. They have a dove, and there's a couple other shapes, I think. Uh, this ribbon, I want to shorten, so it's sitting up a little bit higher in the, the ring here. But I've seen this twice before in, in the wild, but both times this ring was cracked or broken. And um, I think that is spectacular. It's a really fun, fun piece. Uh, I'll hang this in the window in my living room. It was marked at $4.99, $4.99 for handmade Costa Boda, and um, it was half off. 
because half they were doing all their Christmas stuff at half off. So I am super excited to find the intact uh, and in fantastic shape. And I also bought rah, 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 a, Hawaii, uh, a Hawaiian shirt. I love a Hawaiian shirt when it's warmer. A nice Hawaiian shirt that fits well with a nice pair of shorts and a great pair of shoes. I just feel, I don't know, very together. And it's so effortless in the summertime. But yeah, I thought it was a really great pattern, nice color. Uh, it's by um, Bishop Street uh, and uh, made in Hawaii. It was $6.99. Ta-da! So I did find some stuff that was crap on the shelves. So um, the last thing I'm going to chat with you is uh, about is something I am very excited about. Very excited about. Um, I have Recurrent, which is our annual recertification. I have Recurrent in March. Uh, every year. And so January 1st is usually when I start reading my fam over and over again. I want it like, I, I'm always up to date with my fam, but I want to make sure I know all of the minutia. And there's nothing more irritating than talking to a flight attendant who says, oh, that's not XYZ because I'm getting ready for a recurrent. I know, what, mm, I hate those people, but um, I like to be over prepared for recurrent. Well, apparently things are changing with our recurrent. Uh, now, in most airlines, recurrent is meant to be a refresher, make sure everyone's on the same page, you know, consistency, make sure you're still aware of how to do your job. And uh, But with my company, recurrent always seemed to be almost like trying to get you. They were always trying to get you. With the test, there'd be like the final exam, we'd have four answers to a question. Two of them are like, almost correct but not perfectly correct one is perfectly correct and then there's a stupid like you know one two four elephant there'll be like a fourth option that was ridiculous they changed it to the where the multiple choice was like three choices so they took the stupid answer out and then apparently they've been making our test less getcha and more like a refresher so it seems to have been not easier, but made to be more common sense. So, and fair. It, it's it's uh, designed more to be fair now. But the part about recurrent that really freaks a bunch of people out is our emergency drills. I don't know why they're so stressful. They're frequently, they're frequently less than 10 or 12 words. And if I can remember the entire catalog of Joni Mitchell, her entire, you know, singing career of 50, 60 years, I should be able to remember 10 words in a row, right? But somehow it's very stressful. Well, we just, we just got a read file that uh, tells us that our emergency drills are changing. One of them used to be um, you and, you know, heads down, stay down, heads down, stay down. Make sure I push all the right buttons. You and you hold people back. Stay back, open seatbelts. Stay back, open seatbelts. You go to the end, call people to you. You get away from the aircraft, call people to you. Leave everything, come this way, inflate that. <sighs> And it's very, very stressful. And uh, they just changed them. Now, I don't know if I can tell you what they are because it does say sec sensitive security information at the top of the page. So I'm not gonna recite our, in our entire emergency drills, although you can probably find them online somewhere. But now we have to say our normal heads down, stay down, heads down, stay down. But now our drills for a land evacuation include um, one, two, Three, four words. Four words. <laughs> Once the door is open, it's two words. And uh, for la for water ditching, it's heads down, stay down, heads down, stay down, which we normally say. Then it's like basically get your life vest, put it on, and then you know go. That, that it's really that that's it. They have made our. Um, um, our emergency drills absolutely ridiculously simple. So I'm a little excited about that, but I'm also a little stressed because I have finally managed to remember my emergency drills perfectly. So now they've changed them. This is the second or third time they've changed our emergency drills since I started, but I'm not going to complain because they're so easy. They're so easy now. Um, but that would be the, one, the part that messes me up when I go to recurrent. Um, blah, blah, blah. Is there anything else I have to share with you? I think that's it. I think that's it. So I'm going to see you tomorrow. All right. Um, have a good night and I'll see you tomorrow. Fly safe. Bye.